When we think about in this room about being a philanthropist, you know, even if you added up all the money in this room and we gave every bit of it away, it still is absolutely a teeny tiny fraction of any of the problems that we're talking about up here. So all philanthropy can do is be the catalytic wedge. It can be the way that looks at the mistakes and figures out how to do things differently. It can be a way of really listening to, okay, maybe we have the right water solution, but women aren't adopting it for a certain reason because we haven't created the, the exact right solution that they want, or we haven't educated them in a way that they understand, or we haven't picked the right women's leaders. But philanthropy can only be the catalytic wedge. If you want to do something at large scale, you have to think about showing the ways, doing the experiments, taking the risk out of the equation, at least the way Bill and I think about it, and then get governments to scale up what you're going to do. And the risky piece is the piece that governments can't go and do, but they will allow you to come in and do and do in concert with them. And ultimately, you want the village to adopt it because you've listened to what their needs are, and you want the government to scale it up. And if you think about what the failures of capitalism are, philanthropy is trying to fill in the places that capitalism doesn't really go. As Warren says, it's, it's the easy pitches have already been taken. Philanthropy is taking the really hard pitches. The why is it that a vaccine doesn't reach a child in the developing world? Why is it that clean water isn't reaching a mother in India and her family? Why is it that we're not pulling out these women African leaders and getting them on world stages so they can talk about what's really going on in their country? So if you find the thing that I think is closest to your heart as a person or as a couple, that's where you should invest, and then you should think about how does my money ultimately catalyze change, and what could I do to learn and take some risk out of the equation and ultimately get it scaled up so it ends up serving millions of people. At least that's how, right. how Bill and I think about the philanthropy.